Hi, I'm Ollie White. I'm here at the Skills Show with City and Guilds for the Open Doors campaign. Check out this awesome special effects makeup I had done around the corner. This is just one of many of the amazing skills shown here today. The Skills Show is such an inspiring event and it's a great way to find out how to get into your dream job. I've always been inspired from a very young age to get into presenting and I'm lucky enough to do that today. I'm gonna to go have a look at some of the apprenticeships they offer and you guys can come with me. What's your favourite thing to do in special effects? I love fantasy makeup. Like a troll or, yeah? Harry Potter was a big inspiration just to see the prosthetics. I've always been attracted to makeup and just how it can change the appearance of somebody's face yeah. and adjust features and stuff like that. Do you see yourself doing this for the rest of your life? I or? see myself doing it for the rest of my life, but um, I want to work in different fields of makeup. Yeah? Well, so just like to widen your skills Definitely, and abilities? Yeah. Hello and welcome to the BBC bus. I'm Carol Kirkwood and I present the weather at the BBC. Let's join our new weather presenter. Oh, thank you ever so much. And now a summary of the weather from the BBC bus with me, Ollie White. The outlook for today, as we see today, it's warm and thundery. Behind me, there's lots of clouds. 24 degrees. So don't forget your rolly. That's all from the BBC bus. For now, I'm Ollie White. Goodbye. <laughs> Cut through ball from Griffiths out the ball cleared and filled. It's a terrific hit from Bakary Sacco. It's Sacco from the edge of the area. And we've got a guy in a blue right now. Be a left footed who he just did a lob. Pings it into the corner. Trying to get the flick on there. And he's left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, right foot, right foot, number three, number three's running down the line. He's towards the left hand side. Go pass it through ball, puts it through ball. Oh, and he's passed it through the shot. With his... Oh, what a goal. That was absolutely amazing. Hit the post and went in. That was fantastic. Carlisle nil, Wolves won. Well, that. I mean, I don't know who's who. What actually inspired you to get into radio? I, I was just one of those people who played football in the back garden and couldn't do it without commentating. <laughs> so, so, you know, to be able to get from there to here has just been a dream come true. I just think of some of the things I've done in recent years, being on the pitch at Wembley or the day that I had to interview the Prime Minister. But you never know what's around the corner and there are great treats ahead if you, if you get involved in this business. You join me here live at the Birmingham NEC for the UK Skills Show. I've always been interested in like journalism and television and like presenting in news and current affairs and I thought like there's no point in holding back anymore, I might as well go and do it. I want some of my work to be like maybe published and be well known for what I do. So is an apprenticeship a good foundation to start with? I think it is. You get competitive edge. It would be good like, to earn money and then learn at the same time. I feel like with an apprenticeship you get best of both worlds really. Everyone's really supportive of it and like, encourages you to do stuff that you want to do. Today has been amazing meeting all of these different apprentices and seeing what their future may hold. Don't forget to subscribe to the City and Guilds YouTube channel. I'm off to get myself some food.